I'm here to talk to you today about a particular uh, compound or group of compounds called oligomeric proanthocyanidins. Try to say that very quickly, it's difficult. Oligomeric proanthocyanidins. Most of you probably know it from grape seed extract. These are a group of flavanols or flavonoids that uh, promote very strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidant activity within the body. There are numerous medical and scientific studies that have been done on this group of flavanols, showing them to be quite effective in stabilizing the connective tissue of our body, the vascular connective tissue, the uh, arthritic con connective tissue, um, and uh, uh, connect, uh, all the rest of the connective tissues of our body. Now, why is this important? Because when they stabilize those connective tissues, locally within the connective tissue, they build up. And when they build up and stabilize it, they also work as an anti-inflammatory compound because of their antioxidant capacity. And many autoimmune disorders, those are inflammatory disorders where your own immune system attacks yourself, Many autoimmune inflammatory disorders are directed against these various connective tissues. And that inflammatory reaction is what breaks those connective tissues down, causing the severe symptoms and uh, problems associated with these conditions. Now, oligomeric proanthocyanidins, or OPCs, get into these um, connective tissues they help the cross-linking of those connective tissues, stabilize those connective tissues, and work locally as anti-inflammatory compounds, protecting those connective tissues from inflammatory breakdown. These are important factors. You can certainly take them in in your diet, but in various conditions where you're already suffering the symptoms of that condition, you may want to supplement with higher doses of these compounds so that they work as medicines, not just as food. So. Please join me and take your oligomeric proanthocyanidins. Thanks.